I think I should be singing the black and yellow theme song right now. Anyway, we're talking about contacts! So, this is probably the most important video you'll watch all week. Um, yeah, I'm not even gonna contest that. An artifact is nothing without context. Everything we know about something comes from where we found it and what we found it with. If these two things are destroyed, then so is your chance for ever really knowing the truth or getting as close to the truth as possible. Objects can't speak for themselves. I know I said earlier in another video that objects can sort of speak for themselves, but they are not co-stars in that the museum, and while each piece can say something, it doesn't really help, and so each, you know, they're all they're all foreign to us, and context is the Rosetta Stone, per se, that helps us gather an understanding of it. Context can consist of an artifact, a feature, a structure, organic remains, anything that you find. When considering context, you need to look at the finds, immediate matrix, and provenience. Glossary term! So, matrix is the material surrounding the find, and the provenience is the vertical and horizontal position with in the matrix. We also need to look out for other uh, finds and the relationship to this one. So it's all connected. It's this huge web of archaeological finds, what was found with it, what was found next to it, and so on and so forth. A huge web of information that we can discern just from looking at the base layer of the ground. Archaeologists have become increasingly aware that it is so important to identify and properly record not only the artifact, but what is found with it. Sure, it makes the job a little bit slower and not as interesting, you know, you're not just digging until you find something shiny and ripping it from the ground anymore. You need to ask questions, you need to ask, where was it found? What was it found with? A pot found with um, some grain inside of it next to a fireplace gives a completely different meaning to a similarly shaped pot with makeup in it found in a grave. It goes to show that if you don't know where it came from, you have no idea what it was really used for in the first place. And this is the biggest problem with looters. They don't just take the artifact, they permanently destroy any context we may have had for that site. Sure, it looks great, but an object is, is so much more than just a pretty face, you know? Uh, it's like dating. Sure, you want it to look good, you want it to be, you know, you want to be able to swipe right on it on Tinder, but if there ain't anything backing up them looks, then uh, he's gotta go. Some people can live with the whole just looks thing, but looks fade, yo. And I don't want that wrinkly ass beside me when he can't hold a proper conversation. Sorry. Objects degrade over time. Things lose luster, and the original collector that bought the looted artifact will have nothing more exciting to to share with anyone that he that he's showing it off to. It could have led such a more meaningful life telling us about the society that produced it, and now it's just another shiny thing on the shelf collecting dust. Now, if the looting occurred recently, it's really easy to notice and work around what we call this new secondary context. So, the looter, therefore, tampered with the site, making a whole new context for us to discover, essentially. The real challenge comes when it's an ancient looting. This is when the context tries to get fresh with us and um, pull the wool over our eyes. Archaeologists have to be really careful when digging to be able to identify these instances, or we could completely interpret the site wrong. We also need to take into account that Mother Nature and all her wonder can be the most devious looter of all. Looter, I guess. Earth moves, and with it, so do artifacts sometimes. This is why we find stone tools in rivers miles away from sites and so on and so forth. So that's it for context. As always, click the link on the description for a short write-up and for the resources. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel or you're missing out on the context of the whole vlog. Perhaps I made a joke. Told you it'd be the most important video you watched all week. Stay nerdy, my friends.